Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. So let us pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist. Let us call to mind our sinfulness and let us be sorry for them. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who were pleased to give us the shining example of the Holy Family, graciously grant that we may imitate them in practicing the virtues of family life and in the bonds of charity. And so in the joy of your house, delight one day in eternal rewards. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. God sets a father in honor over his children. A mother's authority he confirms over her sons. Whoever honors his father atones for sins and preserves himself from them. When he prays, he is heard. He stores up riches who reveres his mother. Whoever honors his father is gladdened by children, and when he prays, is heard. Whoever reveres his father will live a long life. He who obeys his father brings comfort to his mother. My son, Take care of your father when he is old. Grieve him not as long as he lives. Even if his mind fail, be considerate of him. Revile him not all the days of his life. Kindness to a father will not be forgotten. Firmly planted against the debt of your sins. A house raised in justice to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, put on as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If one has a grievance against another, as the Lord has forgiven you, so must you also do. And over all these, put on love, that is, the bond of perfection. And let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called in one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. be with you with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to luke Glory to you, Lord. when the days were completed for their purification according to the law of moses they took him up to jerusalem to present him to the lord just as it's written in the law of the lord every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the lord and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle dove or two young pigeons in accordance with the dictate in the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessing God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles, and glory for your people Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what he said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel and to be a sign of what will be contradicted, and you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. There was also a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel from the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple, but worshiped night and day with fasting and prayer and coming forward at the very time she gave thanks to God 
and spoke about the child to all who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise your Lord Jesus Christ. It comes the first Sunday following Christmas when a lot of us have started to overdose on family. In fact, after the parties and cooking and visiting and obligations and expectations and disappointments, some of us have had all about as much family as we can take. Parents are wondering, when are those kids going back to school? A little togetherness goes a long way for every generation. But when it comes to this feast, we're challenged to look at what it means to be family. And our eyes turn toward the Christmas crib, the nativity scene. During this time of year, we tend to sentimentalize the Holy Family. They become figures of plaster or plastic or paper, not flesh and blood, but we forget they weren't that different from us. They were holy, yes, but they were also human. The story of the Holy Family is a story of life not always turning out the way one expects. It's the story of a teenage mother conceiving a child before she was married. It's the story of an anxious father confronting scandal, planning on divorce. It's the story of a family forced to become refugees, living as immigrants in the land that once held their ancestors as slaves. It's the story of a missing child and days of anxious searching by his parents. This family was holy, but it was also human. We need these reminders, especially now. The church calendar shows us that the Christmas season is one of light, but it's also of shadow. One parishioner showed me some images of our evening mass on Christmas Eve. They were beautiful but I was struck by something that hadn't occurred to me. In the pictures, I noticed the light shines brightly on this nativity scene, the Holy Family, you know, baby Jesus. But a few feet away, very close, it shines just as brightly on the crucifix and the dying Christ. In the stable, the mother Mary looks down at life beginning and at the foot of the cross, she looks up at life ending. It's just a few steps here from the wood of the manger to the wood of the cross. But in so many ways, the two singular events are inseparable. One led inevitably to the other. Joy and sorrow were almost side by side, linked by sacrifice, by faith, and by love. It's the story of our salvation, and it's the story of the Holy Family. These two images in this church, the crib and the crucifix, serve as a powerful lesson for this feast. We realize when we speak of the Holy Family, we speak of a family that struggled and suffered like so many of us do. But this family also knew profound hope. They trusted completely in God. They call all of us to that kind of trust. And they are with us in our own time. They stand beside all who worry, who struggle, who search and pray. 
The Holy Family stands besides parents anxious about their children, worrying for their welfare. They walk with immigrants and refugees separated from those they love. They comfort teenage mothers and the single parent. They console the prisoner, the outcast, the bullied, the scorned, and the parents who love them. And they offer solace and compassion to any mother or father grieving over the loss of a child. The Holy Family shares our burdens, but they also uplift us by their example. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph were never alone. They endured through the grace of God. They prayed, they hoped, they trusted in God's will. Now we might ask ourselves where we can find that kind of peace and purpose in our own families, in our own lives. Well, one answer is in Paul's beautiful letter to the Colossians. And from his words, we can draw lessons about how to form a healthy and holy Christian family. Put on compassion, Paul tells us. Kindness, lowliness, meekness, patience, forgiveness, and love. It's all that simple, and it's all that difficult. I'm sure the Holy Family had moments when living those virtues seemed harder, even impossible. But they did things most of us don't. They listened to angels. They dreamed. They gave themselves fully to God. They made of their lives a prayer. When we find ourselves overwhelmed, we need to remember where we look today and remember to look toward the crib. This is our model for living. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. But we need to see them in full, remembering the closeness of the cross. That was their life, and it's ours too. Yet through all their hardships and all their time of anxiety and difficulty, persecution and tragedy, a time very much like our own, they showed us how to be a people of faith, people of forgiveness, people of love. They show us, in other words, how to be holy. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty maker, maker of, of heaven and earth, of, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the, the only begotten God, Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate with the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess when baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph were a family who trusted God's love and care 
with the same confidence we present to God our needs and concerns. That Christians practice kindness and patience every day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That leaders of the world value families, affirming all children will grow in wisdom and truly value the lessons learned from their parents. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That families separated by war or distance be reunited in God's boundless love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That elderly parents be consoled and strengthened by caring and loving sons, daughters, and grandchildren. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That single people find welcome in our parish family and find out their vocation through lives of charity, prayer, and service. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those on our website's vigil light list and written in our book of prayer intentions, for peace in the world, especially for those who are affected by war and violence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the relief and the comfort of the sick, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may they find rest for their souls, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Faithful God, you offer us your Son, Jesus, that we might share your life, hear our prayer, and give answer to the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, humbly asking that through the intercession of the Virgin Mother of God and Saint Joseph, you may establish our families firmly in your grace and your peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them, them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up 
through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, Ramon, Felipe, and Michael, our auxiliary bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
At a Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I'm not worthy, worthy that you should enter into my roof, only but only say the word, word and my soul, my soul shall, be, shall healed. be healed. Amen. Body of Christ, Body of Christ. Body of Christ, Body of Christ.
an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, Archangel defend, defend us in battle. battle. Be our defense against the weakness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl by the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Let us pray. <laughs> Bring those you refresh with this heavenly sacrament, most merciful Father, to imitate constantly the example of the Holy Family, so that after the trials of this world, we may share their company forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to glorify the Lord with your lives. Thanks be to God.